in this lecture i will discuss uh, some more points on variable z suppose if r is a constant and uh, theta is varying r is constant and theta is varying that means the distance from origin is constant and uh, phase angle is changing then the locus of this z is a circle the distance from origin is same so the distance is always r but phase angle is changing then the locus of this z will be a circle and here one more thing is mod z means radius this is called mod z and uh, phase angle is theta mod z is r phase angle of z is theta now we'll discuss the relationship between z plane and s plane take uh, s plane and z plane here this is n log frequency here both n log frequency and digital frequency are coming that's why i'm using two different symbols generally this is used for n log frequency and uh, this is a symbol for digital frequency both are called as omegas either this one or this one always called as omega we have to read them as omega in a jet plane this is a unit circle unit circle means radius 1 it is a circle with radius 1 r means mod z so mod z is 1 and we have already seen this relationship between the variable z and s z is equal to e power s t and we know that s is equal to sigma plus j omega this is a L log frequency. If we substitute it, uh, it will be like this. And if we expand it, it will be in this manner. And we know that this is nothing but a digital frequency. So finally, it is in this format. And here uh, this is uh, radius and this is phase angle. Now I will identify the equivalent of imaginary axis. Imaginary axis means uh, sigma is 0. On imaginary axis sigma is 0. Now if we substitute uh, 0 here, then uh, e power 0, e power 0 means 1. So radius is 1. This is radius. So radius is 1. Radius is 1. And uh, this omega is changing. Omega means phase angle. So this is changing. So radius is 1 but uh, phase angle is changing. So imaginary axis will be equivalent to unit circuit. Imaginary axis will be equivalent to unit circuit. Next you take a uh, left half S plane. Left half S plane means this one. In left half S plane, sigma is a uh, less than 0 here uh, sigma is negative so z will be like this here sigma is negative whenever sigma is negative it will be less than 1 radius will be less than 1 so this radius will be less than 1 
this is the reason why it is less than 1 when sigma is uh, negative let us take one example suppose sigma is minus 2 then it will be e power minus 2t e power minus 2t means 1 by e power 2t 1 by so it is less than 1 it's like 1 by 3 1 by 4 and so on so that's why when sigma is negative it will be less than 1 less than 1 means it is inside unit circle on unit circle radius is 1 inside radius is less than 1 inside radius is less than 1 so inside of unit circle so left half s plane is equal to inside of unit circle left half s plane is equal to inside of unit circle Next, we will take a right half S plane. That means this side. This side sigma is positive. So, sigma is greater than 0. So, when sigma is positive, this will be more than 1. This radius will be more than 1. So, the radius is more than 1 is radius more than one means outside unit circle on unit circle radius is one inside radius is less than one outside radius is more than one so outside of unit circle that means right half s plane is equal to outside of unit circle like this, S plane and uh, Z plane are related. Thank you for watching this video.